Welcome to Osaka. Princess Peach. If you're my Princess Peach, comment down below and uh, I'll find you a Bowser to kidnap you. Good morning, YouTube. It is day something, no idea by now. But we're going to Universal Studios. I need a Mario hat. I think if I can secure this Mario hat early, it'll make for good pictures, it'll make for good vibes. I mean, you know. <laughs> Oh man. And it begins, baby. Universal Studio Store. It's a gotta be a sweet. Alright, y'all, we're doing it. We made it. It was a slight hassle getting our Mario uh, land tickets, but we got them. Now all that's left to do is ride rides and enjoy ourselves. All right, y'all, one ride down. We did the Hollywood, whatever, whatever it's called. You could choose like a song to listen to. I did the special Universal Japan Studios song and it was like a K-pop anime sounding thing. It was so fun. You're just, just bobbing your head. It was good. I listened to Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Shake it off, shake it off. Oh, y'all already know. Hello Kitty. It's got pork and cheese in it, apparently. It's not a dessert. Guys, we just went on the Jurassic Park ride. One of the funnest rides I've ever been on. That was so sick. One thing that's so funny about Universal though, is the workers are just so happy to be here. Like so happy to be here. Like it's weird. Like it's almost like you're too happy. Oh, you know, when Mario goes to Hogwarts. And funny enough, imagine this. It looks the exact same as the one in Orlando, Florida. So kind of fun. They definitely could have done something different for Japan. Like, I know they could have. Oh yeah. So basically what happened was that line took like an hour, like literally an hour to get through. So because I waited so long, I had to buy more than just one thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they get you. That's literally how they get you. Anyways, I don't know where Trevor is, but uh, I told him to find me on the street. And I'm not hard to miss. Well, everyone, we made it. Super Mario World. I had four minutes to spare on my ticket. Aha! Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. Yo, this, is... this is so cool actually. This is so sick. They did such a good job. Coins floating everywhere. You feel like you're in some weird, like literal Mario land. All right, everyone, pretty successful trip. Got the hat, got a whole bag of gifts. We got a few things, ready for this? We got two of these keychains. The Shy Guy, is that Shy Guy? And then a whole thing of earrings. Pretty dope. Plus the hat. And that's a good trip to Mario World. Well, that was officially a 10 out of 10 experience. That was cool. Nah, nine out of 10, let's be honest. It was dope, it was super just like, 
I've never been, I've never seen anything like that. Just Mario everything, the material they used for everything just made it look, it was trippy. I don't know how to describe it. I was literally Mario. I mean, I had the hat, I hit some blocks, I bought some keychains. Like, what else does Mario do, you know? Guess I need a Princess Peach. If you're my Princess Peach, comment down below and uh, I'll find you a Bowser to kidnap you. We'll make a video out of this. It'll be worth it. It's not very ethical, but we'll get a Bowser to kidnap you and then I'll come save you eventually. Probably go on at least one more trip. Enjoy my, uh, my solitude. Anyways, if you're my Princess Peach, comment down below. Thank you. So we went to this bistro, or we're at this bistro. All you can eat bread, plus whatever else you order. I'm gonna try the screen one, live on camera. This food is so good, and I am so tired. Trevor's awake. Oh, I know, he's very awake. You guys, do you want to see the cutest hotel room ever? Okay, here we are. Boom! Look at that. Traditional looking, Japanese, yada yada, the smallest TV I've ever seen in my life. Towels. That's not a closet. Oh. Very nice room with the cool freaking whatevers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is so cute. This is so cute. Little pillows to sit on. Even comes with the Trevor. Got our luggage storage. Fridge, some water. This is so cute. Let's look at the bathroom though. It's another bathroom that we, you know, we just don't write home about, but fun, fun, fun. Even in a hotel like this, look at this. It's got a freaking control switch, control center. Today, we're watching Attack on Titan. We're watching it in this very room. Very excited about that. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Probably Google things around here. So uh, traveling here was not too bad. We're really getting the trains down. We had to wait an extra hour to check in, but luckily we took our time at a restaurant and then traveling over here, so we only had to wait like 10 minutes. Not too bad. Oh yeah, they gave us a welcome drink and it tasted like sushi restaurant smell. It was very interesting. Trevor really enjoyed it. It was green. It really was gross. <laughs> What's with the face? What are you wearing, man? You act like I'm the one who looks weird in this situation. Before you hate on it, go in there, put one on, see how you feel. All right, fine. There we go. Okay, this is pretty nice. So basically, what we got here is uh, cosplay. No, it is uh, experiencing culture. And these happen to be in the drawers in this uh, hotel, so it's kind of fun. But uh, we're filming stuff for another video I'm making. Okay, the video, which I think will be out way before this comes out. But this is uh, behind the scenes of finishing Attack on Titan in Japan. So if you like that video, this is uh, behind the scenes. Anyways. And we're off, everyone. Walking through Osaka, looks very uh, New York-ish, and it looks pretty much exactly like everywhere else we've been. So, kind of fun.
Oh, they're everywhere. Capsule toys, capsule planets. I need them. Oh, no way. We got this one. That one's sick. Oh. Nice. I think this is bringing out just a part of my childhood that I never had. Because I could never just like roll up and be like, hey mom, can I have this? Like it was just never an option. We didn't have money. But now I have money. So I can do as many of these as I want. All right, everyone, it's been a great day of shopping so far. I got these socks. Some blue ones and some pink ones. They'll be good for when I dress up because I don't have any like nice, nice socks. And it looks like we're walking into New York right now. It's actually crazy. Anyways, I could live here. The amount of shopping is ridiculous. The amount of stimulus, the lights, the people, the cake. Oh. I had to, it, they're so cheap and they were just staring me in the face. Trevor's a big Hello Kitty fan and so we saw this shop. Yeah, I like peed myself, I was so excited. <laughs> He jumped up and down for joy. The funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, there's the Wagyu. You guys, this meat is such high quality. And it, it, it was kind of expensive, I'm not gonna lie. This place is kind of expensive. We thought it was cheaper and then we walked in and we were like, but we sent it. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. And Trevor's first time having tongue, so how do you like it? Well, it's not my first time uh, having okay. tongue right now. Okay. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. We might have to order some more. All right, good morning, afternoon, everyone. It is day, day something. We only got a couple days left. But we are in some part of Japan, Tarumi Ward. It's almost to Akashi. Anyways, we're out here, okay? We're looking for the Naruto, like, or village hidden in the leaves attraction, town? I don't know. We're looking for that. We're currently looking for a bus station, which we think is in here. Okay, so basically, we need to get across that bridge. And we're going to all these different bus stops, the maps. We're looking at the little routes, trying to figure out which one's which. We think we figured it out. We've got to find an elevator to take us to 5F. And then at 5F, we catch a bus, which hopefully is the right one. Half the signs are in English, which really helps. But I will tell you this. On the way back, we are getting some Kobe beef in Kobe. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So the sign said go to 5F. So we went to 5F and ended up at this like hospital. And we're like wandering through the hallways and there's these two Japanese dudes and they were just like staring at us like, well, what are you doing here? And we were staring at them like, where's the bus stop? So then finally we were like, uh, bus stop? And the dude like showed us. We went to the wrong 5F. There's another 5F that we had to go up. So now we're going all the way up. It's a huge escalator in hopes that this is the correct 5F and not that we will walk up and everyone will stare at us like we're Ikuyo! Nice ocean. All right, everyone, and we have probably like a 15, 20 minute walk and we're there, baby. <laughs> We're coming up on it. I can feel the chakra infusing itself through the bamboo that we're passing. But we're literally out here in the forest, bamboo, the ocean, the occasional truck, kind of fun.
We found the village hidden in the leaves. Oh yeah, and you can hear the music. They got the actual music from the show. That's pretty sick. That's pretty lit. And they have a Dragon Quest park, which I'm excited for. All right, everyone, as you can hear, we are in the thing. They got the lanterns, the leaf symbol. So with your basic ticket, you get two missions that you gotta complete. Here's the arena. There's the statues. It's a little more uh, childish than you'd expect. Well, maybe there's more to it. Ooh, ooh. All right, we got our freaking Naruto uh, ramen. Pretty exciting. Oh, I got this cute coaster. Looks like we have a maze to go through. So we're wandering through this maze, collecting stamps, making hand signs, you know, doing our thing. You found Kakashi? Yeah. <laughs> ah, secret door. Yeah. He's talking to us. Alright, so this is what we're doing. We're getting a little stamps. Really pushing my my dexterity here. Now we have our signs. Mind Ninja Way. It's called Effectiveness. Oh, come on, that's no fun. Trevor, it's my Ninja Way. We all could have done that. I'm the most efficient person in this maze. Guys, we did it. We rescued Naruto. We did our mission. Ugh. They better give us a prize for this. Put our lives on the line. Anyways, down the slide we go. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> the slowest slide I've ever seen in my life. There he is. All right, here we go. Wait. <laughs> Safe. Guys, look, there was a prize. We got a little wristband. That's kind of lit. It's got all the stuff. Alright, time for our next mission. Do you know how freaky that would be? Alright guys, this is actually pretty fun. So you like run up to the rocks, okay, on this one. You see that? Stick this in. And then you gotta look through it, it reveals the thing you're supposed to mark on your scroll. And they're all something different, it's all something interactive. It's kinda dope. Trevor, I'm kinda scared. We're filling up the scrolls, everyone. We got kind of lost on one of them. It was quite confusing. Do we know who the enemy's posing as? I don't know. What if it's us? What if we're the enemy? It's the plot twist. Humanity is the enemy. Well, everyone, we're idiots. We messed up the dog one, which is the one we got confused on. We gotta go back, we gotta erase it, we gotta put the right one. I don't know what our prize is, but it better be actual chakra. The amount of work we put in today. Well, we weren't allowed to film the big reveal at the end but it was like a dark room and then there was like the screen and the sage of the six pass shows up and he told us something there were no subtitles so it sounded like the same thing he says in the anime and then Naruto and Sasuke appear statues behind us and the scroll like 
glows in the dark and all the freaking tailed beasts were there. And then we got another bracelet, so mission complete. All right, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna get ice cream. How much? 200 yen? Oh, it's money only. I'll be with you in one moment. You nice. That uh, Naruto thing was a lot cooler than it looked. If you walk in and you go, looks kind of for like 10 year olds. It was actually pretty sick. Oh, that's good. That's really good. One of the challenges, definitely not made for kids because we couldn't figure it out. And we are some of America's brightest minds. So we are doomed. That's all I have to say. We were just thinking this is the first time I felt skeptical about something in Japan because usually they deliver. Like they, their attractions are legit. It's worth the cost. It's even, you get more bang for your buck here. This is the first one and you look at it and you're like, eh? Like it just looks like it's for like five year olds, like a little playground. And then you get in the maze, it's actually kind of elaborate. They have the cool technology where you have to do the signs. So the door opens. It was actually cool. Like I would actually recommend this. Found this huge slide. Oh, he's hauling. This slide's huge. If I was a kid, I would have freaking, I mean, I'm gonna love it right now. Wide for this. Ikkyo, whee. Oh, you kind of get moving on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Quest cost money, it was like $25. And I played the game once when I was like 14. Thought it'd be cool. But it wasn't free, so. We ditched that, went to a couple shops. Now we're headed to the bus stop. Oh, you know, just another day at a train station waiting to get some nice Kobe beef. All right, everyone, we're going to a restaurant called Steakland. So if this is not the best steak in the world, I don't know where it is. steak was absolutely delicious okay it was a little quieter in there so I didn't want to be like vlogging you know doing my thing steak land oh that was so good not the best steak I've ever had the best steak was probably the Wagyu steak it was like 200 bucks in Las Vegas before I went to Nepal that was probably the best number two Kobe beef in Kobe so now we need some ice cream and I saw a Baskin Robbins over there, so we'll have to hit that. And it's a perfect night. It's literally a perfect night. What do you think of the steak? Oh, it was so good. I hate, I hate Japan for how good their steak is. <laughs> we'll never be the same. Perfect night. It put me in the shower is what it's called. You know, and it's funny, I never thought the two places I'd be going to so much would be Baskin Robbins and 7-Eleven. Like, never would have thought. I don't really know what this flavor is. It's good. I know, I know it's good. I think we're headed back and I am possibly gonna take a bath in those like Japanese bath places that's in our hotel. That'll be an adventure, one I do not wanna film, but that will be an adventure. So one thing I've noticed in my travel abroad here is when you're on like a subway or just like standing anywhere, they will avoid you like you're the plague. Like I go and I like stand in the corner on the subway and they all just kind of like scoot over but they don't do that to themselves. Ignoring the fact that it's probably because I'm so ugly. I'd like to think it's because of my brazen personality, my dashing looks, my big chest. I don't know, I don't know, it's just funny. I know I'm a golden retriever personality, so I know I'm not scaring anyone. This earring ain't scaring anyone. Anyways, another observation I learned is they kind of avoid you. Maybe I smell, maybe I smell, maybe I'm ugly, I don't know. Good morning, everyone, or should I say good afternoon because it is 12 o'clock and I just woke up. Got my water. Let's pour me a little glass here. Bro, the cubs here, tiny. I swear they don't drink water here. They also barely eat any protein. It's kind of crazy. I saw a video the other day on TikTok, so, you know, take it with a grain of rice. One of the reasons, there were three main, but one of the reasons that a lot of people have the bowed legs here is because they don't eat a lot of protein. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. That's what TikTok said. 
My, listen, 7-Eleven's great. Like, it's great. But I think it's only great because our 7-Elevens are so bad that it's like, oh, like, they're actually kind of nice. Because Lawson is way better. I'm gonna be honest. Their quality is better. Their quantity's better. It's more diverse. The color's better than 7-Eleven. Like, it's a nice blue. Anyways, this is what we got for breakfast. Teriyaki chicken and egg sandwich. It sounded good-ish. Wanted to try it. Monster. Chopsticks. Some sushi. Very nice. And of course, some ice cream. Some Hagen dazs cookies and cream. And we are off. At the shop literally all day and I cannot be more excited. Maybe ride a Ferris wheel. Maybe swim in the river. Maybe get in a sumo fight with someone on the street. I don't know. You know, you never know what today's gonna bring. Tell y'all what, it's been forever since I bought these. Like maybe like a day or two. And I'm going through withdrawals. Guys, this is bad. I'm down to 1,500 yen before I have to go to an ATM. And this is a whole store just full of the capsule machines. I had to. So uh, the sun's already down. We've been out for like three hours. It's the uh, perks of sleeping in and the perks of being on an island surrounded by massive skyscrapers. So once the sun just gets over a skyscraper, it's dark like this. Ooh, ooh. We went exotic for this meal. Shake Shack is what it's called. I haven't had a burger in a sec, so why not? You guys, I have been searching literally all over Japan for this specific one, for this specific one, I now got my top five favorite animes in mangas from Japan. It's so lit, it's so lit. I had to explain a lot to get this and then they probably felt bad for me and then just like, grabbed one. It's probably what happened, but you know what? You just play the, I don't know what I'm doing and uh, I can't speak your language card or they play the, oh, I have pity for you card. And it, it works out, you know? It's just a, a synergy of gifts and pity and all around kindness. I just bought the sickest phone case. They're customizing it right now. It's gonna take them an hour. I have to go back, pick it up. So I'll show you guys obviously when we get there. So dope, pretty cheap. I think it was like $35, 40 bucks. Sold out. This really is bringing out my inner child. It really is, and it's so fun to me. I've spent a ridiculous amount of money on these things, but what even is money? Ooh, very nice, very nice, perfect. The moment we've been waiting for. Case it to five. So dope. <laughs> All right, time to show Trevor. Trevor, 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 Trevor. I got a good one for you. I popped, I snapped, I went stupid, I went crazy. Boom, check that out. Oh yeah, that's actually the best choice that you could have got. Ain't that sick? Ain't that something? Yeah. Mm. Feels nice. Ooh. All right, everyone. That is Osaka finished. Still in Osaka, as you can tell. But uh, today we're traveling back to Tokyo, getting ready to go to the airport, you know, do our thing. Thank you guys for watching Osaka. All the videos, if you watch this many. Osaka was fun, lots of shopping, very cool, very upbeat. Uh, Universal was dope. Mario Land, 10 out of 10. Kobe Steak, 10 out of 10. But the trip's been great. It's been fun. Good learning experience. Um, 
If you have any tips on not getting sick while traveling, I think I get sick from like the initial travel, like the plane ride and stuff. Just like not sleeping on the plane. I struggle, I struggle sleeping on planes. Let me know, please let me know. Stay tuned for some fun videos.